there, it's Anonymous Tea, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, sending blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we're talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. You guys know why you were here. Today we are talking because we have another episode of Love and Marriage After Lockup, Love and Marriage, the Arrest Edition, Love and Marriage, the Criminal Edition. You guys... What is going on? What is happening? Why is it every single time we're doing a video, it is about some scandal, it is about some arrest, it is about some controversy, and what I do not understand, because this relates to Latricia's husband and brother-in-law, this go around, you boys, as to why you would sign up for reality TV. Notice that the people who have squeaky clean images or are people who really don't get into trouble or are all of these things, nine times out of ten, they're not really on reality TV, right? Because they have the sense, they have the wherewithal to say, listen, I'm not going to destroy my good name for clout, for reality TV fame. And even if I do have something squeaky clean, I'm not going to put myself in a position for you to try to investigate and try to find a demerit on my file. Try to find something that is going to take away from my good image and my good reputation. But that seems to go out the window because anything for clout, anything for the alleged 2,500 an episode, you guys. So let's get into it. Let's get into this, you guys. So first on the docket, we, we have Latricia's husband, current husband, you guys, because there, there is no divorce in sight for whatever reason, depending on which version of events you want to believe. If you believe, Ken, that the divorce was filed and neither one assigned papers. If you want to believe Latricia's version, that there was never any papers filed, but she's allegedly been separated for five years, even though there was a happy anniversary post in 2020, which would negate the five-year stuff. But nonetheless, let's talk about it. So we have on the left side of your screen, uh, those of you who do not know, this is the alleged husband uh, by the name of Marcus Arthur Leon Burnett, date of birth uh october 2nd 1985 age 36 race black sex male and the charges was for failure to appear uh you know for some traffic violations or what have you uh and the bond was at 609 dollars you guys uh so and then there's rumors that he might be in jail now however somebody's posting actively from his account like currently so don't know about that uh, nonetheless, let's get into uh, the brother, you guys. Because the brother, uh, you know, which would be Latricia's brother-in-law, right? Because she's still married to, you know, this man. Uh, he got charged with terrorism trafficking, stolen identities, breaking into vehicles, and fraudulent use of a credit card. So let's get into this article. So let me uh, direct you to the right hand side of your screen. This is a brother-in-law by the name of Miles Rashad Tibbs, right? So it says the following. In Huntsville terrorism case, missing suspect appears in court. This was published in September 16th of 2016, you guys. The bizarre case of identity fraud in Huntsville, a case that local law enforcement has described as having elements of potential terrorism, took another twist on Friday when one of the three missing suspects suddenly came forward. Miles Rashad Tibbs appeared in Madison County Court Friday afternoon as his attorney argued against the judge orders to revoke Tibbs' bond. In a court filing Friday morning, attorney Robin Wolf said that Tibbs had been living with his father ever since his August 9th arrest on the charge of trafficking stolen identities. Following the hearing before the district judge uh, and by the name of Claude Hunley, Prosecutors told the media that they do not believe this is true. That's uh, incorrect. Assistant District Attorney Jay Town said he hasn't been living with his father. He has been here in Huntsville. Perhaps he certainly provided himself to the hearing today. Nobody knew where he was yesterday or where he was living yesterday. That's a fact. To say that he's been living with his parents or with his father, that's not a fact. It's at least false information at best. The Madison County Sheriff's Department has said this week that they did not know the whereabouts of the three suspects 
Tibbs' attorney declined to comment following the hearing. The case began last month when the deputies from Madison County Sheriff's Department attempted to serve eviction papers at an upscale home in West Huntsville. In serving the papers, the Sheriff's Department said deputies noticed items in the house consistent with manufacturing false identities and subsequent search of the home turned up cash from nations such as Iran and Iraq. Investigators also learned the suspects were squatting at the house illegally and had been doing so for more than a year. The judge ordered the Tibbs be placed under house arrest and wear a monitoring device on his ankle until a hearing Monday at 10 a.m. on the issue of his bond revocation. Tibbs will be with his brother Marcus Burnett during the weekend, according to the judge's order. Before Tibbs left the courtroom, however, an investigator from the police department at the University of Alabama in Huntsville served him with four warrants. Tibbs was then taken into custody on those charges, which included breaking into a vehicle and fraudulent use of a credit card. While Tibbs' location has been determined, law enforcement, which includes the FBI and U.S. Department of Homeland Security, are still searching for two other suspects in the case. Um, sorry if I'm butchering your name, Monaldi Karim Burnett. Tibbs' brother, uh, so we have another brother as well, and Sean Anthony DeCambra. Town and Assistant DA Jeff McCluskey told the judge they considered Tibbs to be at flight risk. Prosecutors said the fact that Tibbs has been charged with falsifying identities and credit cards indicates he could be a candidate to escape. Wolf, Tibbs' attorney, said he would be willing to turn over his passport. She also said that he has been available for weeks, but investigators have not contacted her about speaking with him. Wolf also said he has been in constant contact with his bonding agency. He has been more than compliant, Wolf told the judge. I do not believe he is a flight risk. Town told the judge that more charges are expected to be brought against Tibbs. Captain Michael Solmoski of the Sheriff's Department, sorry if I'm butchering your name, said that investigators have been determined that the suspects were involved in identity crimes across North Alabama, going as far as south as Birmingham. This week, when asked why there was suspicion of terrorist activity, Salmanoski, sorry if I'm butchering your name again, told reporters, we have had indications of foreign travel. We have had indications of uh, during the course of the initial investigation, we found currency from Iran, Iraq, Malaysia, Vietnam, Indonesia. As we know, these are all hot spots. And I think one of the persons actually traveled to, I want to say a Middle East traveled outside of this country. Based off of the foreign currency, what we think is the travel is also the transfers of money that appear to have gone overseas. I think this is a likely aspect we need to look at. There are no guarantees. It is a possibility. What in the heck, you guys? What in the heck? What in the heck? I just don't understand y'all. I don't understand why we have to continue to, to repeat the same thing and just interchange the name of these people. But, but what is going on? What is going on? This is such problematic behavior. Like, like I can't take, like, I, like, 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 where do we go from here? Is any of this going to be brought up in the reunion? And I don't want to hear, oh, they're not they're not on the show, so they're not going to bring it up. Well, Martel Sidechick's not on the show, and you can basically have a drinking challenge at this point. It's how much coleslaw is being said this season, you guys. So it doesn't matter. Um, the husband's being referenced one way or the other because people find the whole situation with Ken suspect, right? At this point, with, with the new developments, with the investigation and, and finding out where the hus who the husband's social media is and, and, and whether or not there's a break, baby, and all these things in the criminal past of the husband and the brother-in-law, there is too much going on. But yet they are trying to present a false narrative on the show and push this whether or not Latricia and Martell had a fling in the past or have something going on now. We do not care. Heck, we don't even care about this thing with Ken because it's clear as day that the real action is happening off the show and is not being filmed. The real tea, what's really going on in Latricia's personal life and, and uh, the current marriage, because as of now, there's no proof, there's zero receipts that she's a single woman, uh, is all happening off screen, you guys. It's happening off camera. So, so why are we being subjected to this? Why should people tune in on Saturdays? When there is a whole nother situation taking place off the show, is this going to be brought up at the reunion, you guys? 
or are they gonna drag out this Martell thing and try to make Martell like he's some Casanova? Can you make it make sense? Why is all of these women, most of these women, have some type of tie to Martell or some type of rumor to Martell uh, of some type of fling or some type of hookup or, or some type of thing that was exchanged for Martell to get something? Why? It, like, who in Huntsville that is a female does Martell not know? Who in Huntsville has never had any correspondence with Martell? Or, or hasn't been hit on Martell or hasn't hooked up with Martell. Like, I just need receipts. I need to find out who. Because at what point is this going to stop? And I feel like this is being done on purpose in part to give Martell a reason to still have screen time. Because it is clear as day that he is going to be limited on uncertain group activities and group events in the event that Mel is there. Right? Because we already know he's not allowed to communicate to her. He's not allowed to contact her. So that would also be extensive that he is not allowed to be near her. He's not allowed to see her. Right? So so where do we go from here? Right? But what does this all mean? Like, like what is the point, Latricia, of you on the show? What is the end game? Is it to promote the fitness business? Is it to promote yourself? Is this to get some additional funds? Is this to get some clout? To get some fame? What is it when your your whole situation is being investigated real time and people are looking into your actual husband, looking into your brother-in-law, looking into what is happening, why you're being so secretive, why you have your teeth clenched anytime anybody asks you about why you won't divorce your husband. And you're up here talking about it's too expensive or there's no money or, or something. No, 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 no. Uh, the people that I've known who, who've gotten divorced, uh, uh, the cause of the divorce is the last thing anybody's talking about, right? Like, like the last thing, right? Because they don't care how much it's going to cost for, to retain an attorney. If they're done with the marriage, they do not care. They want the best of the best, and they want out of that marriage as fast as possible, you guys. So, so I don't want to hear any excuse about there being a financial reason that she does not want to get divorced other than uh, the potential that her husband, even with his criminal, alleged criminal activities, uh, is still the breadwinner when it's all said and done. But there is something, you guys, that is keeping her married to this guy. And I want to get to the bottom of it, right? Because it doesn't make sense. Why are we going to be subjected to these fake scenes with Ken where it's clear as day Latricia does not look like she is in interested in him looks like she wants nothing to do with them is telling the people is telling the cast that it is awkward at family events you know with around her people because uh she's still married to somebody else so so you're literally bringing this man around your your family as if you're not a whole wife to somebody else regardless of whatever the breakdown in the marriage is you're parading around new dudes in front of your family as if you don't have a husband Make it make sense. And what example is this setting for your children? That, that their mom is out here on reality TV with an alleged boyfriend, but they're still married to their father. And they're still liking each other's posts on social media. They're still posting anniversary posts on Facebook. Why? That's not the flex that you think it is. This isn't the hype that you think it is. You are not that girl to be living like this on a show that is supposed to be promoting love and marriage, you guys. Where is the love? Uh, you're married, but your husband's not on the show. So, so how is that a flex, right? And you're, and you're being too secretive to where it's giving one and done right it's giving you might as well not come back the following season right you're pulling the same crap destiny did in which she didn't want to talk about liberic but for whatever reason seems to have a whole history a whole biography a whole documentary on her five minute relationship with moses you guys Make it make sense, and that was enough to bring her back so that she can not only drag that out, but also bash Mel, also bash anybody who supports Mel, and also be in cahoots so that Martell has somebody else he can film with and talk crap about Mel, you guys. But again, what is the point? How many more times do we have to pull up a mugshot of somebody? How many more times do we have to pull up a lawsuit of somebody or somebody getting sued? Why? This is not black excellence, you guys. We are so far away from the purpose of the show. 
And, and even these milestones that the cast is celebrating in, in their individual businesses, none of it's going to be on the show. Because unless there's any drama attached to it, they're not going to care. Unless there is some blow up that takes place, they're not going to show it, you guys. Because they don't believe in showing anything positive because people like Carlos King have a one-track mind and think that all reality TV fans wants to see nothing but drama, nothing but arguments, nothing but chaos 24 and 7. That, that we don't want to see anything quote-unquote real of a typical day-to-day -day of some of these so-called entrepreneurs. How are these people alleged entrepreneurs, alleged multimillionaires when we never see them in business? When we never see them conducting any business. But we have to follow them on their social media platforms to find out what they're doing. Even with Stormy, you guys, they didn't even acknowledge her fertility issues her first season. It was a whole documentary on her Instagram page, you guys. That would have been something that could have been beneficial for people who have struggled to get pregnant or struggled, you know, with fertility treatments and all of the things. That would have been a wonderful storyline to incorporate onto the show. But no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We, we, we got to focus on the drama. We got to focus on the bad. Why you and Mel are not friends. Why you uh, and Kiki are going against Letitia. Uh, why, uh, you know, you have all these problems with your business and you're about to lose it all, right? That is more entertaining, right? Than, than whether or not you are able to bounce back from your business. You see what I'm saying? So, so it is just aggravating. It is exhausting. And they wonder why nobody is tuning in. Because all of the drama, all of the things that is happening, is happening real time off the show, you guys. Meanwhile, Carlos King, you know, he is nowhere to be found, but he pops in on Messy Mondays uh, to give his quote-unquote recap, or, or whatever he wants Dr. Heavenly to say in the recap. But again, the house literally is on fire, you guys. There is literally a storm outside that is taking place in the realm of Love and Marriage Huntsville. And Carlos King doesn't care. Because as long as it's a trending topic on Twitter, that's all that matters. Not the low ratings, not the people blacking out, not the people sick of the show, not the fact that Mel, your star of the show, is not even promoting the show. Doesn't even care, you guys. Isn't even, like, I knew, like I keep saying in each video, when Mel didn't even post her glam squad and her getting ready for her uh, cast photos for the photo shoot and all those things, when Mel didn't post that, I knew what time it was, right? And I know some people were like, oh, oh maybe Mel's just busy and, and it's just not time yet and all the things, but everybody but her posted about it, right? Even when the trailer dropped. Mel said, thanks, but no thanks. I'm going to continue to promote everything else that I've got going on, right? And initially, Mel's people was like, hey, we're not going to boycott the show. We're going to tune in, blah, 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 blah. Until they saw what was about to happen. Until they saw the writing on the wall on what this was about to be, right? And it was nothing but tomfoolery from the first episode in painting Martel Holt as a victim, you guys. And that it was all a plot to take down a black man, you guys. And, and put papers and charges on a black man, you guys. And, and, and Nell is just so beside herself because she just cannot see black men be arrested and go to jail. Meanwhile, two of her own sons gets arrested later. Can you make it make sense? Meanwhile, Destiny talking all this crap about Melody and, and her fans and, and all of these things. And, and obsessed with the Sonny and Moses thing. Meanwhile, she's getting arrested again. You have Marceau talking crap about Melody and the Mel supporters and uh, insulting his wife for the millionth time and all of these things, right? And gaslighting and pretending to be concerned about Martel, but saying a whole lot of nothing, you guys. Telling people on social media drunkenly that the Melometers are deplorables, that Mel supporters are deplorables, and he cannot wait each week for the ratings to come out because the ratings are not going to matter if Mel supporters do not tune in that the highest ratings are the ratings when uh, the Mel supporters don't watch the show except for they're in fact the lowest you guys they're the lowest of the season and then you have Maurice you have your brother right 
who, who, who thinks that he is is the perfect gentleman, is the clean cut guy, has nothing wrong with him, is the epitome of perfection and success and all of these things, and ends up with a DUI himself. Can you make it make sense? And you have people saying it's no big deal that people get drunk, you know, get, uh, you know, DUIs all the time, except for there are several people that die every day from a drunk driver or, or in critical condition because of a, cr a drunk dive driver, right? Or you're putting yourself or someone else at risk because of drunk driving. And then the audacity to pull up in a Lamborghini after being arrested for the DUI. When, from what I know, from the people that I know that have had DUIs, uh, your license is immediately suspended. But again, anything to flex on the gram, anything to stunt on the gram, anything to quote-unquote respond to the bloggers, you guys. No, 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 no. It is not a flex to have a DUI. And then it's not a flex to try to lie about the details of when your actual arrest was. Make it make sense. Nobody is sitting there at the county waiting until noon the next day to file your information on you being arrested. No, 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 no. That is instant. That is instant, you guys. But anything to take the focus off the alleged reason that it took so long uh, for him to, you know, be wherever he was after the partying that took place at black with the qe uh to turn up the next day in the same clothes in the alleged uh red stained lipstick that kimmy was not wearing and in the alleged mugshot of in 12 the afternoon the next day it is sus it is sus it doesn't make any sense and then we have the conviction of martell you guys and then we have more slander coming out right we have more slander more negative things to try to offset Martell's conviction, you guys. More distractions, more chaos to take your eyes off the prize. Why? The issue is we need to make sure that the people who are doing crime are doing the time. That people are being prosecuted to the full extent of the law. That at what point are you going to get it that this behavior isn't it? That this type of tomfoolery isn't it? This is not what we signed up for when we wanted to watch this show. We wanted to see you giving back to the black community. We wanted to see the comeback group build affordable housing for the black community in Huntsville, Alabama. Where is it? Wait, wait, where are the homes, you guys? Where, where are all the opportunities for for the black community in Huntsville uh, to, you know, have progress and, and, and live in nice homes and be able to provide for their families and, and have a comfortable life and then build and put some roots down in Huntsville? Where is that? Because it is looking like it is not. It is looking like uh, Huntsville only consists of, uh, you know, the people that are in the bubble of this show. It is what it's giving. It's giving that nobody knows about Huntsville. Even the people in Huntsville don't know about Love and Marriage Huntsville, you guys. Because why aren't they tuning in either? Why don't we know anyone else from Huntsville, you guys? Why did everybody have to move to Huntsville to, to get screen time for the show? Stormy's from Mississippi. Is it Moses from St. Louis? Like, like, and Latricia and Kev, where are you guys from? Because, uh, for all intents and purposes, it looks like your husband, uh, Latricia, is, is, is spending a lot of time in Atlanta. So, so, again, why are we being scammed like this, you guys? Why are people playing in our face and then people want to get upset when we report the truth? Because you're not telling us the truth on the show. So people have to go find the truth themselves because if you're sketchy if something is not making sense with your storyline and and the things that you are saying and the things that are coming out of your mouth and you're talking out of the side of your neck people need to find out the why but enough is enough you guys like like this is crazy this is crazy this is unprecedented did latricia think that nothing was going to come out did latricia think that nobody was going to look into anything 
I, I thought you guys were familiar with the show, and, and you're for sure familiar with Martel and his side chick and, and their history. So, so wouldn't you know all of the backlash that the side chick received for trying to, you know, present herself and run her mouth and, and trying to make herself famous and trying to gain clout off of Mel's name, that this wasn't the look that you think it is by also having yourself be on reality TV, that people were going to look into you as well if something was sketch, if something didn't make sense. How is it that uh, Tiffany, of all people, Tiffany and Lou, who people couldn't stand on the show, is coming off the most unscathed of the cast? Can you make it make sense? <laughs> like, like, they got out at the right time, you guys. They got out at the right time before anything got crazy. They got in and they got out. They saw what the show was about to do and they said thanks, but no thanks. I am going to raise my baby away from the show. Away from this circus, you guys. So, there is that. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. What do you think of the latest in Love and Marriage after lockup? Love and Marriage, uh, the arrest edition. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Unleash. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.